was a good clap too. Don't. Oh my god. Somebody immediately just turned this episode yeah, off. They're, they're like, like, okay, it's just like absolutely not, absolutely not. Um, what's up, guys? Welcome back oh to god. this this episode of Emergency Narcom because I know you're watching it for a third time. Thank you. I wish. I wish there were people who have watched every episode at least like three. Times. Oh, there a hundred percent are. There There's no way. There's too many episodes now. At first, when we were at like thirty episodes, I was like, that kind of makes sense. I guarantee there are probably a thousand people. I'll I'll put money on a thousand people that have watched every episode How at least money? twice. A thousand. Oh, that is pretty pretty confident. Yeah. I you said how many people? A thousand. You said you think there's a thousand people who have put watched episodes every episode three twice. times, twice to three no. times. Oh, okay. Now you lowered it twice to three. Times. No, no, no. I said twice in my first in my first go. Um, in my first statement. Yeah, in my first statement. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Drew's um, wearing lip gloss. No, no, I'm literally not. So Drew's literally wearing I, lip gloss. I, I bought, Your lips look so pink. <laughs> I and I I do that every fucking time on my sweats, and now there's like lip stain, like sweats from the oil, and it doesn't wash out. It's hell on earth. No, I bought this like pink little bottle um that mason and zamar told me to buy and they were like this shit's like lit it's like the best chapstick ever and i just like would wear it every single day and i would just like put it on and not think about it and then i realized today when i was putting it on that it's a fucking sleep mask and that i just wear a sleep mask as like chapstick oh, yeah, every zamar day mason do keep it in their car yeah mason take it out yeah but yeah like for some reason makes my lips fucking glow and beautiful and pretty well you know what it is you have a very good natural hue of lips like oh. i have Wait, actually uh okay don't like get too crazy about did it did y'all hear that because your little mustache <laughs> covers most of them anyway <laughs> so you have like a full bottom lip and then like a little peak of a lip <laughs> yeah i was looking at my lips the other day and i was like damn like i do have really small lips you don't have that like for a, a white guy you don't have like the why are you pushing them out <laughs> You're like I. I do have small lips. Kai has. A, Kai has good Like lips. you're pouting them too much right now for me to be able to unpout. Pout. Unpout. Yeah, you have good lips. Yeah, you have Thanks. decent lips. Mm -hmm. You don't have like the like beak lips that white people get. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. Like when it like turns into like this, no kiss for this, you. Um, what's the other parentheses? Like that. That. No. no, no. Oh, the bracket. Yeah. Like oh, the bracket, yeah. Like the little like a white person with bracket lips. Yeah. yeah, that is have a you, crazy phenomenon. Have you seen the people that get lip filler on their bracket lips? Yeah. It's really sad, and I'm like, girl, like, do you? Like, I'm really actually genuinely happy for you, and I'm glad it makes you feel better. But like, every single person that I've seen that's gotten that done has immediately regretted it. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't want to sit here and make fun of people's lips because I also don't believe that everybody should just like run out and get filler because we literally don't know what it does and it always migrates. And also what I will say, if you do get filler and you decide to like get rid of it, make a TikTok because that's my yep. favorite TikTok to watch is people getting their lips dissolved because their lips always look gorgeous after. Maybe and that's the method is yeah. to get lip filler for a two years, stretch your lips out and then get it dissolved. But then I think you might. How, how do their lips not get super wrinkly, though? Mm. Or do they get wrinkly because you're stretching it's the your skin, skin out? Same skin as your butthole. Kai and I were talking about the that same, the other literally. day. We were talking about um, That's buttholes. What we're talking about? Yesterday on our walk, we were talking about buttholes. Yeah, went on yeah. a walk together yesterday. Yeah, we did. Really, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't remember talking about buttholes. Yeah, we were saying that like um, the wrinkles on your butthole is like the body count, like your body count, oh, like the rings yeah. on a tree shows like your age. The wrinkles on your butthole <laughs> shows your body stupid. count. Have you seen the the videos where it's like um, Timothy Chalamet leaving? Uh, Austin Butler's house and getting home to his apartment and it's like that wet fart sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh fuck off. You're way too good at doing that. <laughs> Dude that just made my stomach turn. Yeah it's because his butthole's fill filled with uh <laughs> Oh my god man. Do you think yeah. we're gonna get demonetized? No, I think we're good. We're okay. good. See, I we'll, have a we'll delusion. We'll I have that. like a delusion when you say things about that because we, I believe, we're removed by like what is it by like a second degree, like when you're close. Twice removed. Yeah, I believe we are only twice removed by so many people. And when you say shit like that, I'm like, God forbid that ever just lands in their <laughs> scope, and then we have to be in a room with anybody you ever talk about, and we're just like, 
I didn't say that. What's your name? That was one of my alters. I love a good meeting somebody famous and going, oh, yeah, my name's Enya. What's your name? Yeah. You like it feels like you have to. What it, else are you supposed to do? Like, also, oh, I've seen you on my phone for like years. But I kind of do do that. I, anytime I meet someone, I'm like, like if I when I met Timothy Chalamet, like when we were hanging out a bunch, when I went up to him, I was like, oh my god, like I loved you and call me by your name, like that was the role of a lifetime. And he was like, thank you so and he much. He's like, ew, are you gay or something? Why are you bringing that movie <laughs> yeah, up? Yeah, he literally hates. I always, I always be like. <laughs> Oh, I know your stuff. I'm not a fan of it, but my girlfriend likes it. Oh, I love Classic. that. That I happens love to that. me and Drew. We get body like that all the time. They're like, can I take a picture of you? I want to show my girlfriend. And I'm like, babe, like, it's okay to like me. I love when a group of guys does that, but then each of them take individual pictures. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. all right, all right. I know all of y'all yeah, didn't bag a baddie. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Because only like hot people, like hot girls watch our shit. And it'll be like a bunk guy. And all of them are like, me, me next, me, uh, me, me next, me next. I'm like... <laughs> Let's see the proof. Let me see your screensaver. Let me see your wallpaper. And it's not a hot girl. So you're lying. Also, one of the groups that did that to us were all dressed like um, they were dressed nice. But they kind of reminded me of the guys who will play like a Steely Dan song and back up with the bell bottoms. Oh, and yeah. all of them asked for individual photos. And they were like, my girlfriend's going to freak out. But they all asked for individual photos. And I was like, you're a fan. Yeah. Like, why are you lying to me? It's actually like mean. Guys, I am dune pilled, dune maxing. Um, it's actually becoming a problem. I love dune. I it's all my feeds are consumed by <laughs> dune edits and all that shit. And I was like, oh, like I'm gonna go get the Lego set. I called like three days waiting for it to be in, and then the day you left me and Josiah went to the mall and picked it up. Um Lego. Yeah, is... instead of taking me to the airport, they went to the mall to get the Dune Lego set. <laughs> Let that. Oh my god, it. I actually didn't think about that. That is shit. Yeah, <laughs> I was like standing around, and then I didn't want to ask to be taken. Well, I you gotta like, ask. You gotta ask. I was like, any world, if it was like this time, and I was up, and I Drew was around, I'd just be like, oh, I'm just gonna take him, whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, it'll be fun too because Josie's with him, so he won't be driving alone. I was standing around and both of their fucking stinky asses were planted on the sofa. Like, I think to take them off, it would have sounded like Velcro from the stench of their ass ripping from the sofa. And then I was like, I said twice, I was like, oh, I think I'm going to call a car soon. And they were just like, you got to ask. You got to set that pride aside and ask, babe. They were literally like, oh, okay. I can't. I can't read what you want. I was offended. Damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is shitty, but at least I got a Lego set. <laughs> yeah, at least hey, you had the time of your life. Hey. Meanwhile, I was in the Uber on the way there looking at Boeing 737s because I had to get on one, and I was genuinely convinced my plane was going to go down. Well, and I was that, like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That Didn't fucking a bunch of whistleblower. Huh? Yeah, what's up with the whistleblower guy? Basically, this dude, like, outed Boeing. Like, he's, like, he worked at Boeing, and he outed him as, like, or outed Boeing as, like, very neglectful of like maintenance and that there's like a bunch of problems with their planes and like the I, i've talked to like uh, my pilot friends before and they're like dude like the process to like submit a complaint um on a plane like if something goes wrong is hell so a lot of pilots just like don't even do it and like this dude was just explaining how shitty the process is and how they like knowingly um just like let bunk ass airplanes like fly around the air and like a lot of like the deaths and disasters that have happened could have been preventable and should have been prevented but whatever this dude like went out and said all that shit the stock price probably fucking tanked and then literally yesterday he was fucking found dead he was found dead the whistleblower was found dead what's crazy is that's like Boeing not, him, allegedly I, I wonder what's gonna stop boeing from putting out planes because i'm sure also i was thinking i think it'd be interesting to look up other plane crashes and incidents because i do think there's probably other aircrafts that are having similar issues because we're also hitting the mark where a lot of these planes were made around the same time and a lot of them are just meeting the end of their life and i do think it's the first time within our like society that is so hell-bent on plane travel that we're seeing a bulk of a bunch of planes hitting the end of their life. Like we haven't been within aviation and uh, public aviation for long enough to see like the end of cars. Like we've all, we're all now at the age where there's a bunch of cars that when we were younger, we saw them new on the market, but they're hitting that like 
decade or 15 year mark that all of them are kind of going bad and they're disappearing off the roads. I don't know if we've actually hit that for planes yet. Like, I don't know how many it planes. Feels like it feels like I feel like so many literally. planes have been going down in the last two years. Yeah, but that's also, what I'm saying. I'm like, I think we're hitting that mark where all of them are going bad, but all the airlines, it probably will cost so much fucking money. So many flights will be cut off the income that they're used to getting because also like plane travel became so much more popular post COVID because everybody just realized how important it was to like get out. And it's like the whole thing with how many uh, near collisions there are, are on tarmacs now. That's like a huge thing because they put so many flights close to each other that I think I, I want to look it up, but there was like this TikTok that showed how many near collisions there were in just a month. And it was like over 50 mm-hmm. on the tarmac. And that's just like, planes like taking off and other planes getting the wrong information of like almost scooping into taking off and almost slamming into each other on the tarmac it's gonna be so iconic when one of us dies in a plane crash and they make like a compilation video of like how many fucking times we've talked about dying in a plane crash and talked about crashing planes it's literally gonna be iconic and they're gonna be like oh my god like they knew knew, like they knew like or then there's gonna be a me in the comment who's like bitch that's all they talked about like that's literally all they talked about they didn't know anything but no that is like knowing like intuitively knowing (laughs) that is knowing you being like there's always going to be a disaster like there's going to be an earthquake queen of disaster you know what we've never talked about and is actually insane that we haven't talked about is marina and the diamonds like why have we never publicly talked about that arc of our lives because what is there to say (laughs) It's like we've talked about One Direction, like we've talked talked about about Lana, Lana, but like we haven't talked about Marina. It's because like, actually, my name's Marina. I think we don't talk about Marina because she kind of lives in that bubble. Almost when we say like, oh, Lana Tumblr days, I think like at least I just am like, if you know, you know. Yeah, like if you know, you know. And if you don't know now, don't try to know because it's not going to be the the same. same. It will never be the same. Somebody recently had a song that was like a fake Marina song. Is she still making music though? She put out an album in 2021. I didn't Fruit? Uh I'm not sure. I didn't really listen to it, but um Yeah, just like an iconic moment in our oh, lives. Oh no, Fruit was 2015. Yeah. Bitch, I'm old. No, she didn't put it out. She hasn't put out an album since Fruit. I think on Spotify she has an album that came out in 2021. Oh, oh, oh wait. What the hell? It's under Marina. Oh, she does. Ancient dreams in a modern land. Um, Girl, she's on her Bjork shit. (laughs) Oh, speaking of Bjork, the other day I was driving um, and like it was like peak sadness for me. And I was like, oh, like literally what is going on with me? Like I need to figure something out. So I put on Agony um, by Young Lean and proceeded to like fucking sob like i was alone and sobbing and people could see me crying and then i put on hyper ballad by bjork and like sobbed even fucking harder and i'm not kidding since that moment i cried it was like the most cathartic thing i've ever experienced i have actually been like euphoric like literally like happy and i'm like damn like maybe all we need is to just cry men should cry more wow. literally let it out i don't but think that was men should very... cry. i think you should have probably come oh, to yourself because really? i was like shattering this illusion that like what you cried oh you a baby well you're gonna hate this little fun fact about me which is that i cry every night for I hours that's shocking okay i love that for you Kai. <laughs> thank you i it's love healthy. that you cry. men should cry men should sob wait but you do that every night every night yeah is that you do like wake up usually looking a little parched? Like sometimes when we come here in the morning, I'm like, whoa, it's he must have cried it all out. <laughs> it's from all the tears. Yeah. And I, I cry face down with my ass up. Oh. Waiting. Why? I don't know. Is why it I so told the tears that. could just like flow out faster? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get it out. Um, well, when I landed in Miami, I had like the most sibling moment ever. My sister, because if you've ever landed at the MIA terminal, it is actually a MIA torture democracy. chamber. It is the worst place ever in the planet because it's already hot in Miami. It's already humid. But some for some reason, they made the departure area like a tunnel. So it's even hotter because you're just breathing in car exhaust because there's actually 8 million cars around you just slowing down. In Miami, they're honking their fucking asses off because they've never been outside before, I guess. And they're honking like crazy. So you're in this echo cha- chamber of honking and like exhaust. And then there's people yelling like the guys who work there who are like, 
like <laughs> yelling their fucking asses off. And I was getting so overwhelmed and frustrated and I was sweating my ass off because I had just got off the plane. So I was like in a sweatsuit, sweating my ass off. Call my sister. She's like, I'm here. I'm in front of you. I'm like, where are you? And I was like, you are at departures. You are not at arrivals. And she was like, I'm at arrivals. Like, you think I don't know how to whatever. I was like, you're at fucking departures. She was at departures. It took her another 15 minutes to get around. And I was so frustrated that I started crying profusely, but it was the weirdest cry I've ever had because it was like a very angry cry that I literally just put my head down and tears were just like dripping out rapidly because I was so mad. And then I looked up and this guy in the car was like staring at me and I literally just mouthed him. I was like, and I just turned away because he was just staring at me like, like because he saw me crying and I was like, bitch, fuck you. Like, he why are you probably staring gonna at me? Be, like, he's going to be like, are you OK? No, like- I could read his vibe. He was looking at me like I was fucking stupid. And then because I turned away at one point and looked back and he was still like. Like, just staring at me like I was crazy. And I said, fuck you, because like, why? Also, actually, fuck you. Even if you were looking at me like to, to help me, like you're just in your car. Also, he's one of the people who was honking. So fuck you. But yesterday oh, at the period. airport, this girl, um, when I landed, somebody was doing the same thing. They were holding down their honk. Just so happened to be Cuban. I know you're from Miami holding down your Mark horn like Cuban? that. Mark Cuban? No, it was not Mark Cuban. Uh, Mark Cuban was honking at the airport. No, it was a girl with a bunch of Cuban like the gloves. Like, what was a Cuban glove? <laughs> I think this did not exist. Um, but I was like, she must be from Miami because she's holding down that fucking horn. And listen to the lady behind me. She was pissed. I was like, damn, honestly, she's so lit for doing this. Oh, my God. Oh, that's me. Awkward. Oh, my God. Guys. Hurry. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hurry. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 gosh. no. <laughs> she said, fucking <laughs> bitch, my ears fucking hurt. Stop that shit. <laughs> she literally was like boxed in my car. So she was just like. Dude, and it actually and is so inconsiderate what is that gonna, to do that at the airport. And what is that going to do? Like you honking like. I fully understand like doing like a beep beep like honking twice like getting them out of the way but like laying on your horn it is like that is like how you know society is crumbling you are the angriest person I've ever seen in my life holding down your horn like but I will say rain is quick to hit that fucking horn I was in the car with her and like twice she literally I've never seen it like her quickness with her horn was like an iPad baby hitting decline. Dude, it was no, the equivalent. She is the iPad baby hitting <laughs> decline. She hangs up that fucking phone faster than like, like, okay, we had um our friends Amar, like he used to be like the king of hanging up quick. And then I watched Rain hang, <laughs> hang up on up. Inya. And it was it was like Inya didn't even say bye yet. Like it was before like she even got buy out and the call had ended. And I was like, yeah, I was what like, the oh, yeah, I have fuck? to go do something, but I'll talk to you. And then it, it was just, just blank. blank. And I was like, oh, my God. And then I told Zamar, I was like, you've been dethroned. And he was like, oh, I know who it is. And he was like, it's Rain, isn't yeah. it? And he, yeah, he was I like, told Rain and she was like, Zamar already told me, like, I'm going to and I'm going to say this. Yeah. And I was like, bro, I was going to say I love you. And you hung up on me. And she was like, I know you love me, though. So it's OK. Damn. <laughs> like, I was like, damn, that is so funny. But. <laughs> Oh my god you might hear drew sipping on something delicious and i just want to take a break to thank our sponsor of today's episode liquid iv yeah this is like a very long time coming for me and i am genuinely so excited to be sponsored by liquid iv because Inya can attest i drink one literally every single i'm pretty day. sure i've made fun of how often you drink that it's like it's at this point like i drink liquid iv to replace my water and i actually do feel different when i don't drink it and i it really does make a change in my day it's so nice like all those electrolytes like entering my bloodstream all of the vitamins and nutrients it is literally a vibe yeah because i used to be a hater of drew but then i would realize some days i'm just not as good with my water intake i'm busy playing games and sitting on my iphone and then i wake up one morning and my lips are cracked and i feel like i'm falling apart and i'll just pop in a liquid iv because it feels Mm -hmm. like it undoes all the damage i did by not having Mm -hmm. any nutrients Mm -hmm. or water for a whole day my favorite flavor right now is white peach but i went on like this lemon lime journey and it was really special and i actually (laughs) loved it but the white peach journey is crazy there are no artificial sweeteners 
uh, three delicious sugar-free flavors to choose from too. Y'all, it's goaded. Yeah, lemon lime is my favorite because I'm just not a flavor person and I just like a quick boost. I usually will take it, especially if I have like a long night out, I will drink it before I go to bed so that I can wake up normal and healthy and sane and feeling good. Also, sometimes after a workout, when I sweat my freaking boots off, I need to have one because I feel like I left all my hydration on that mat that someone's gonna lay on right after me. (laughs) One stick of liquid IV plus 16 ounces of water will hydrate you better than water alone. It's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. However you hydrate, grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code emergency at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code emergency at liquidiv.com. Lumi! Lumi, eh? Hey. You want to take a second to thank our sponsor, Lumi? Lumi, baby. Lumi, I love you. Listen, summer and spring is coming around the corner, and I know a lot of y'all are going to stink. Unlike other deodorants, Lumi is powered by mandelic acid to control odor in a new way. And a lot of y'all that's are a like... That's mandela. I know. A lot of y'all are like, oh my God, what does that word mean? Exactly. That's how you know you need it, because I know you're <laughs> sitting on that iPad and you stink. Lumi delivers outrageous 72-hour odor control everywhere, from your pits to your feet and even your privates, which I know a lot of y'all need because you skip showers, which is okay, but specifically Drew, like Drew needs that. I love Lumi. Um, It's got long lasting effects and a lot of other deodorants burn the SHIT out of my armpits. Um, This does not. Y'all stink. And the good thing is it's baking soda free, paraben free and pH balanced for safe use below the belt. You can choose from a variety of fresh scents like clean tangerine, lavender, sage, or toasted coconut. I love lavender sage. Like sage is the best smell on the planet. Lumi and the deodorant has earned over 300,000 five-star reviews from happy customers who love feeling confident from head to toe. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code intercom at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code intercom. But I saw her honk so quick to the point that me and Tyrell were in the car with her and we're driving around and we saw her hand go up and we go, eh, eh, eh. No, we were like, don't do it because it was such a useless honk. Christian's like that too. Christian like will just like honk at the, he gets angry and honks at like the dumbest shit. Like (laughs) someone like cutting, oh, (laughs) someone cutting him off. Like, but the car cutting him off is like 30 feet ahead of him. And he'll just like honk and get angry and be like, what the fuck are you, what are you doing, dumbass? And I'm like, not to out my sister, but my sister is a, crazy driver and i love her so much and i know you have bad luck god bless but she is a terrifying driver four wrecks in two months (laughs) she like none of them were her fault (laughs) um yeah none of them were her fault according to her (laughs) (laughs) i feel so bad for outing her like that but she is a terrifying driver like people will just be driving kind of slow and she'll like honk and then she'll be like like on the center (laughs) calls and i'm like girl you were literally terrifying and And she's like oh my god see this is how they drive in Miami. This is how they drive in Miami. And I was like, girl, that we know that. That's what you just drive safer. Like people in Miami drive crazy. We know that. Maybe like for a lot of people, driving angry is like therapy for them. It's like they, that's when yeah. they get their anger out and they just like be pissed at everybody else so they don't that's go true. home and Outside like punch of the car, holes in their mad wall. mad chill. But once we get in that car, I'm like, do you want me to drive? And then she gets mad at that. She's like, oh, why do you want to drive? And I'm like, I, I don't know. Damn. Sounds fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. Um. But the Oscar. Oh, wait, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, I said, bro, my grandma just sits with her thoughts. Like, I think I've said that on the podcast before last time I saw my grandma. But that shit is crazy. I was like, asking my mom. She just sits. Yeah, I was literally asking my mom. I was like, actually, what did you do before like iPhones? Like what like what did you do? Like how did you fill fill your time? And even she was like, oh my God, like I actually like I don't know what we all used to do. Like imagining people like sitting at a cafe alone, like 
drinking their coffee with like nothing. Like I know they had like magazines and newspapers and books and shit, but my mom was like, I didn't read and no one I knew, like no one I knew read. So like, what were you doing if you weren't fucking reading magazines? Like just writing sitting there like yeah that's, <laughs> i was writing a song you're so beautiful <laughs> before phones i was always writing songs music and poems and stuff um that's what Joni mitchell would answer if you asked her what she did before phones that bitch does not use a phone was joe and didian the one that lit herself on fire in the oven no so sylvia plath sylvia she plath didn't light herself on fire <laughs> sylvia plath be like um but yeah it was Ooh. really crazy to me because we got my now we i got my grandma a new iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm better. I'm the best. Well, it's actually, my whole it's a 13, 13. No, yeah. It's a 13. Yeah. True. It's not. Okay. Actually, no. Why have they not declined in value? That was still uh for, I think, 128 gigabytes. That was still a $680. You got phone. scammed. That makes no sense. You got scammed. No, because on offer up, they were all that amount. And then I was like, bro, I'm just going to get her one from fucking Best Buy. I used one from Best Buy. So it has the charger and everything with it. And I was also like, terrified that if i went and met someone on best buy they would like uh, on offer up they would kill me did you get um, a phone case for her yeah she we went to Ross, otter box she got, uh, no she got Ew. Uh, <laughs> those fucking otter boxes with the screens that were like they would Plastic. turn yeah they would like turn <laughs> opaque over time from like from all the syrup and sweat <laughs> that we just were dripping on it as kids like the otter box arc needs I've to be never studied had an otter oh box. bitch you know what the t is the OtterBox, what we experienced with OtterBoxes is what the girls are experiencing with Stanley Cups right now. Oh, because it's the same thing. Like, it's indestructible. It'll last forever. Like, it'll keep you safe somehow. And like, those shits were degrading were in our hands. Nothing. Loki, I want the pink camo one, though, because that one ate. Yeah, like, that the was pink camo yeah. ate. There was, like, an arc where they were fire. Yeah. Like, they were. But fire. the screen thing was so dumb, but it was because people wanted to take their iPhone in water. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and so, like, no what? one did. Like, what? Like, so bad like why did we want to take our phones in water so and bad. no one did like i didn't see one i saw youtube reviews of people putting it in water but no one actually no one trusted them enough. enough because it was the most expensive piece of technology you could ever get your hands also, on also you could take them like two inches underwater like or before the, before the pressure fucking yeah, busted your iphone broke the plastic like i will never forget in joshua tree my how my phone broke because oh, me yeah. and josie were recording a bunch of tiktoks underwater because we were oh. Oh, drunk yeah. in a fucking hot spring and i woke up and my whole fucking phone was just covered in smog and humidity and i lost all the pictures from that year that is so sad but they said they're water resistant like i don't know why you couldn't take them underwater i think i had it underwater for maybe 50 minutes <laughs> and you would drop it and it would go to the bottom of oh this, yeah like, we kept dropping it to swim over it <laughs> And yeah. what's funny is I don't have any of those videos because the phone broke. <laughs> so I don't, <laughs> even have, I don't even have proof that we were doing that. Actually, I think I do have one. And the only one I have is Josie mooning the camera. <laughs> yeah, like he pulled his it. pants down and showed his ass to the camera. And it was like a white globe in the water. Um, but yeah, my grandma just sits around with her thoughts and it's kind of crazy. And then I feel bad because sometimes I'll be like, okay, we like talked all day i want to play fortnite and then i felt bad playing fortnite around her because i'm like oh my god does she think i'm the killer like no, she's she thought it was a documentary <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was the news that people were running around killing each other <laughs> that people were flying and throwing yeah. lightning bolts down yeah it's like a battle royale documentary um but yeah that's it i'm done well the oscars happened um i love poor things it deserved everything it got um the Emma Stone Best Actress Award was deserved. Um, that might be a hot take, but I think she deserved it. But I forget her name. What is her name? Um, Stanley Cooper. No. The girl from... <laughs> We're talking about movies. Um, when the Wind Always Shines, that, like that Western movie or whatever the fuck. Flowers of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the Wind Always <laughs> Shines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's your Same hand. Talk to the hand. Come and talk to me. Come and see. Um, what the fuck is cats? <laughs> and when the wind shines, always shines, babe. Don't forget it. Um, what's her name? I don't know the actress. Nina. Nina. No. Nina. But she... Oh, Nina Bonita Brown. Yes, that's too. <laughs> that too was the star. Um, no, but she deserved it just as much. Um, and I would be happy with either of them, but 
Um, I low key wish she got it over Emma, but I'm happy Emma got it because her I speech was so Emma. cute, dude. Her Emma saying that her, her baby, baby <laughs> the world technicolor, technicolor could never be me. I was like, what? No, I was like, my, the my baby's gonna make my ever. world a silent movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be black and white silent movie depression. Yeah. <laughs> my baby's gonna turn my world into what's it called when they uh, made alcohol illegal. Prohibition. <laughs> my baby's gonna turn my world into the prohibition. <laughs> but yeah, it was really gorgeous. But wow, that was so sweet. I didn't even know she had a baby. Like, did people know she had a baby? Um, baby review. I didn't know she had a baby. But the Poor Things album soundtrack. Um, I was telling Kaya about it the other day or yesterday. I went to the gym. Yeah, I go to the gym. I was gonna go do a two a day, but I missed my appointment. Go do a two day. Two a day where you go to the gym twice in one day, but. I just Bored as fuck. did it. No, me and no Josh jobs actually, be like, oh my God, I love the gym. Like you literally. better love not being sedentary. <laughs> like go do something. Yeah. Um, but I was telling Kai that I was working out to the Poor Thing soundtrack. And as I was like walking into the locker room, this specific song was playing. And it's literally the scariest song you've ever heard in your entire life. But that album, I will defend, is a great album to work out to. Um, you just have to... Wait. No. This one. I was walking into the gym with this playing in my headphones. And there were three dudes walking past <laughs> me. And all three of their heads were like... <laughs> and they stared at me as I was walking. It seems like you're gonna go in there and like shake Dude, uh, people. Bitch. Like it was. It's no, that's like not life. a gun song. That's like you going behind someone stealthily and stabbing them, and they like slowly or, fall. I'm gonna go in and pants everybody's towels around their waist. Like that's a creepy ass song. But no, I'll defend that moment. Like that. That song is great. I need to go watch that movie. I need to actually. I got. You want to go tonight? I got, go tonight? I'm down. I got the first kind of spoiler to it. No. And it like. I, I barely made out what was happening. I think I made up what was happening and what maybe was it was it? me projecting. But it just reminded me of everybody being like, oh, you'll love that movie. That movie is so you. And I was like, I'm oh, so you think I'm a hoe. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's not like that at all. Oh, it's yeah, not right, like right. that. I think I just like misread something. No, but, but like, oh. it is crazy that I was like, oh my God, Inya, that movie is so you. Like Bella, me <laughs> saying mean, Inya's Bella Baxter. Person. Like everybody who's trying to get me to watch it is like, you are literally Bella. You are Bella. It's crazy because I walked out of the movie theater <laughs> and not even five minutes after walking out of the theater, I was still walking to the car. I called Inya and I was yeah. like tearing up and I was like, girl, go see that fucking movie. The That's is, so I'm you. Finally, I'm finally back to like, Back to reality. I'm back to where a woman should be, where I live under the delusion of society. And I, yeah, and I should, I'm just like, listen, life, it shouldn't be that complicated. I shouldn't have free will. I should just do as like the universe wants me to do and go settle down and like be normal. So I need to rewatch that movie so I can go back to being crazy. Rowdy, you'd be the rowdy girl. I know, but I, I say that like I'm not like, okay, I'm normal as fuck, y'all. Like, seriously. Actually, no, I literally was freaking the fuck out. At, no, you weren't, you I, weren't. <gasps> Fuck! Help! Help! Bitch, and I know that hurt. It actually didn't, because things don't hurt me. <laughs> so things don't it, actually hurt me it at all. Didn't because I went to the gym twice in a day. Mm. So, oh, you're shaking because I hurt you. <laughs> you did make me red. I was yeah. speaking of red, and you made red. Had my period. No, your skin is. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a really bad sunburn, but I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Like I got the kind of sunburn that it turns like my skin is getting darker where it's gonna peel. If that makes sense. Like I've never had that. I really think you might just tan. No, because I like I will tan, and I know when I'm gonna tan, and I know when I'm gonna burn. Is when I burn, it does turn darker. But then a few days later, it just peels because uh -huh. my skin fully just dies because I like got flop. too much sun. Flop. Okay. You're in your flop. Um, Billie but... Eilish is the girl. Um, she's a star. I just need to say <laughs> yeah, that. That's I need to get too. that out there. I know. Wait, has anybody else thought that? No, I don't think has so. Has anybody else thought about the fact that she's like the most affluential 21-year-old on the planet? Or affluential? Is that affluential. Is it like, rich. is that bad? She's rich. Oh, I thought is like affluential and was influential and affluential like together. I may, I, guess I think you made that is. up. We'll make that a word though. <laughs> no, I swear. Is that a word? Because if it is, like that's a lit ass word. 
affluential is wealthy and influential. Hey! Hey! Knowing shit, y'all want to get on my ass? Hey! I backed we, you up. I supported okay, okay, you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did too. No, you didn't. You're constantly trying to tear her down. No, oh my. He wants God. to make me feel dumb as if I didn't read two books in a week. What's the last time this motherfucker read a book? He can't uh, read. I literally bought he's a like, Kindle. He's like, um, I literally listened to one. I bought a Kindle. <laughs> oh, did you actually? Oh, I want one. <laughs> you didn't. No, but I want look, a Kindle I was... because all my books get ruined in the steam room after the gym, and all my books when I open it, like the pages are. You flying read out in of the me. steam. I room? was gonna say, or not in the sauna, not in the steam. Room. Oh. Um, that's one of the reasons why I want it. But I went and looked to see because I was like, oh, like a Kindle, like oh, it's like three pixels and it's just black and white. It's got to be like thirty dollars, forty dollars. They're $160. Yeah, they're expensive. Like, are you out of your fucking I think they come mind? with a bunch of books, but it's the kind of books like you see at the airport. That, that I don't, don't give read. a fuck about. Like, it's like sex. Uh, it's like this woman had sex like, the first time. I know, it's like mythological it. sex stories. And I'm like, okay, like, I literally don't care. Like, like, I don't give a fuck, bitch. Um, also, Jimmy Kimmel's my man. <laughs> That's my man. Bitch, I before I started this episode, I was like, I'm done with this. I'm not going to get another one. After this, I am... Stealing Drew's car and I'm getting another one. I don't no, care. I don't care. No, no, you don't. You can't do that. Um, okay. Now what? Oh, well, we can I talk got about embarrassed. I'm gonna say this first. Okay, let me fucking oh finish. My God. <laughs> um, I thought about Drew being on fire and trying to Love stop it. it, and I got so embarrassed. Stomping all over me. <laughs> like you, like you're like catching a fire. You'd be like, oh, oh, oh. like <laughs> that you're is trying cringe. to stop it, or like something being on fire because i saw this girl she got a pair of uggs and she like undid it and there was a candle on the other side so that paper caught on fire and she literally had no idea how to put it out and everything she was doing was accelerating it like she started no blowing it and it like started yeah it started flaming up and then she covered it which you shouldn't fucking do because then it just like bubbles up more and she almost set her house on fire and i imagine you going through that and i got so embarrassed yeah that, i was like bro he wouldn't. would set the house on fire yeah because i'm so lit and everything I do is super hot fire. Oh my god! Wow, y'all remember super hot fire? I do. Yeah. I oh, I'm putting you on the game right now. You've definitely seen it. You're it's like the about most. I swiped that right. Yeah, it's the most viral video of all time. Oh, like the loudest video of all time. Oh yeah, it's oh, time yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. We got our challenger over here. Yep, yep. T-Bone 225, run my nap. They're so funny for this. Is that air code or something? Put that on the map with T steak. This is little B. Get into our main man, the champion himself. No need for introduction. His record, 400 million to one. Sorry, now I just have to watch this. Is this the loudest you've ever heard my phone? thing I've ever heard. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, about luck. you know what I do, heads. Okay. You know how I go. <sighs> yep, tails. Hey, hey, hey. I go first. Yeah, but, hey, 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 tell him. Hold on, I want to talk. He comes uh, super hot, he goes first. What is this? Okay, okay, I go, I go. <laughs> Check me out. I'm checking you. Get it. Mm. I broke up with my ex girl. <laughs> Here's a number. Mm. <laughs> Psych! That's the wrong number! <laughs> that's literally Dude, you. <laughs> that's like, I think, like what shaped my sense of humor, and I'm just realizing that. Like, I really do yeah. think that was like a very pivotal moment in my life. Psych! That's the wrong number. And then the boom, bam, bing, oh, bada, yeah. bing, bop, bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> classic, oh, yeah. classic. Um, well, my middle school coach, um, while I was going to school there, he got fired for drinking on the job and doing painkillers. <laughs> okay. I just remembered that last night. I don't think. We... And he was driving the bus around and shit, the games and shit. <gasps> and he was just. I thought I wasn't gonna steal the bus. Bet you thought I wasn't gonna drink and drive and drive the kids around on the bus. <laughs> um. Well, I think I told the story before, but my bus driver got fired because she used to hit me. I think I've told what? That story before. Have I not told that? Well, oh, you know what? People were saying they have not heard the twin story. That I have not told it publicly. Okay. And that's the thing. Really? People said people were saying like, oh, like they gaslit Drew into thinking he like had. Tell it, and I will like. Know. Maybe it was a Patreon episode. 
uh maybe actually i have i because i do remember talking about it but yeah. like whatever um i don't want to tell y'all now y'all don't get it okay then should i tell my story like what's yeah. happening i just <laughs> wanted to say out loud that i'm right and then i was also gaslit oh we got to watch that the craziest part oh my god the fucking yeah ear shit. yep yep this is the saddest video i've ever seen in my life of myself i can't watch let's just insert it i can't watch it again <laughs> You can't just keep thinking of things that you think you have. Oh wait, this, oh, wait. Is, this is the medical terminology, so we'll insert this one. Think of things that you think you have it's claiming to the public that you have them. I think I need somebody to go through and do like a check of how many like different like oh my diseases God, I say, like, so or much. medical it's issues you've claimed to have. Oh, my surgery clinic is calling me randomly, actually like at the exact same time. <laughs> and then do you want to answer? Issues you've claimed to have publicly. That's why I think we have mold poisoning, which is another toxic trait of mine. Um, Still think it. The only thing it. we need to do to fix our AC is change that filter that is covered in mold. Yeah. Not mold. Yeah. But I don't think we have mold poisoning anymore. Where I think we is? have like carbon monoxide poisoning or like a little yep. gas leak now. Yeah. Epoxia. It's not black mold now. I figured out what it is. What is it? It's a gas leak. Oh my god. We, oh no, my. it's definitely a gas leak, and we're all gonna die in a fucking fire. What's well, crazy? Is these are different episodes. Like, how do you manage to bring it up every episode? <laughs> That's what I was watching too. I was like, damn. Like, I really do talk about this shit a lot. Like, and there's I'm never even newer stop. episodes where you're still mentioning the first shit. Time in my yeah. Life, I got really constipated. I hope. When oh, they the do constipation your shit is like too much. I'm like, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hope when they do your pre-diabetic your surgery now they accidentally knock into your brain and reset something so that yeah. would be a vibe i want to be fixed okay guys this is i'm potentially the saddest thing i've ever seen like actually it may, it breaks my heart that i went through this and he's like you know what's funny is he's literally done this recently we went to a concert and for two weeks in a row he's like Oh, my ears are still ringing. I don't know what's happening. I think I'm probably well, going to go deaf. Still, this one still is. It's just right, what I figured right. out. It's like, I think I have like a small ear canal. Oh. Okay. I know, she's so cute. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, but we're going to insert this because you need to just answer that fucking phone call. They're going to call me and be like, oh, like you're not getting your surgery anymore. We heard what you said. <laughs> Hello? What did he say? Guys. They said I literally have a tumor in my sinus. He's like, no, they didn't. You were hella chill. <laughs> it's over, y'all. See, me and Drew are not the same because I've had a tumor in my the right side of my back for Girl, that's like a fat deposit. four years. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Now I actually hope I die of cancer. <laughs> I can only pray. Y'all look back at this. When I die of fucking cancer... <laughs> No. Pray for me. Pray for me. No. Pray for me. You even said it yourself. Well, that's why I haven't gotten checked out because I'm like, I don't, I actually, I was thinking about it yesterday because this girl was talking about how prevalent breast cancer is in this generation and my boobs, the way they hurt all the time, I won't be getting checked because I don't give a fuck. You want me to and I won't be getting that checked because I don't give a fuck because what, I'm going to die? Like, I literally just don't want to know. Do you want me to massage them? No, you just said something rude to me and I actually hope your surgery goes wrong and then you can't walk when you leave. Oh my God, we've talked about that before and you even said it and a doctor looked at it and I hope said they, it. I hope they poke your eye nerves and you go blind. Oh my God, don't <laughs> say that. Bro. Or I hope they accidentally cut your nerves for smell don't and you can't smell. Don't say that. Don't say that. That's scary. <laughs> it's crazy how many things can go wrong. Like they're literally in your head. They're in my <laughs> like, head. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> okay, don't go in, don't go yeah, you freaking better. I'm not because when I fucking die. In okay, this video and I'm not knocking on wood for my cancer because when I die of cancer, you're going to feel bad. <laughs> now what? God. You already would have perished. It's like been seven years. No, it's been four years. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyways, in the wishing death upon me. Like, I obviously thing. don't hurt. I don't hope that. That's, that's not going to happen thing. to you. Oh, yeah. It's not going it to happen to because now. that's low key your fucking dream. So you could complain about it. So it's just not going to happen. <laughs> I'm blind, guys. I'm blind and I still do the podcast for y'all. That's going to be my arc. Um, no one is using those fucking passwords Apple is suggesting. I'm telling you right now. Those are the most bunk fuck. I understand like, oh, quantum computing. Like they can brute force your shit if you don't have eight different characters and blah, 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 blah. 
but like fuck those passwords like fuck them i'm not using them i never will so what are you supposed stop to do? asking like write them down literally the house? also they make they why want so you someone to could use the go through my journal and go on my fucking ig exactly they want you to use the keychain in the fucking phone so like it saves all your passwords for you but that shit scares the fuck out of me too also um what was i gonna fucking say um they make it so hard to choose your own password. It's not like an option that just pops up. Like you have to like navigate through the iOS interface. So if you're like a geriatric old person, oh, yeah, it's just, just you're the fucked. And then you don't remember that password because it's 38,000 characters long. Like, come on now. Um, like, well, over. I asked my family if they could, a uh, hypothetical, it's like, you can have your dream car, whatever car you've ever wanted, but the first thing you have to do when you get in it is hit and kill a dog. And all of them said they would hit and kill the dog. Really? <laughs> all of them, super quick. And then my, <laughs> my little sister was like, "Do you know I'd how kill many a baby. stray dogs there are?" Like, God bless. I'm like, I'll pray after, but like, I'm hitting the fucking dog. I'd kill a baby for an urus. Oh my god, <laughs> that's like really. I was saying it because I, I, I like a pregnant woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I got up at the table. I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to think harder about these hypotheticals because my family is a bunch of fucking They're murderers. Evil. Like, They're you're evil. all evil and you're murderers. And then the, my little siblings go, mommy killed a cat once by accident, so she could have got the car then, too. And I was like, oh, my fucking God. Oh, okay. my God. And we were eating Chick-fil-A, and it was awesome. Okay, another another take that I have is karaoke is not for people that can sing. Yeah, because it's fucking annoying. That yep. Josiah always wants to go to karaoke because he has, like, three songs that he can do perfectly and i'm like no like karaoke is for all of us to get drunk and scream into the mic and like it just be really loud and annoying yeah, and then you have to take breaks actually i love our friend group but i hate going to karaoke mm -hmm. everybody gets it's literally the annoying competition yes. and then once phantom of the opera comes on i actually want to blow the room up i'm it's like the world would be much more peaceful if me and everyone in this room just incinerated in a moment's notice because it's the loudest thing ever and <laughs> I, I don't even know how the song i just know one time i came back from the bathroom and it was playing and i came in and i turned around and walked out yeah no i leave every single time lucas and josiah do phantom it's of the so Opera. It's annoying horrible i actually need to ask josiah if he did that with um his other friends yeah with his other fucking friends no because he has so respect annoying. for them That's um the yeah he doesn't give a fuck about us he'll scream in our ears and make our eardrums bleed <laughs> well they turned up the power all the way for my brain thing Oh really? oh really? Yeah, they have to. Uh, I think it's working. Honestly, I low key, I low key feel like it might be working. Damn. Yeah, but they have to go to one twenty. What were you at? I'm now at a hundred. And is one twenty the peak? One twenty is peak power, and it's like it's painful now. Do they have to like wean you off, or do you just like stop doing? Stop doing. It's it. supposed to just be like you do it for like thirty days straight. Damn, that's crazy. Um, how how many days left do you have? I think I have like ten days. Yeah. Wait, but, are you off today? Uh, I, I have it later today. Can't go. Yeah, you can watch. You like to watch, huh, Andrew? Yeah, I but, love, um, I'm like a little like medical <laughs> cuck. I'd love to like you observe are, yeah, your you surgeries. Y'all are, um, are fucking disgusting. <laughs> but I low key feel like it has been working because when I was like really down bad, like six months ago, I would wake up and I would literally like open my eyes and the color would be desaturated. I would be like. I'm like, Bob. Do you remember that trend on TikTok when like people would like show their life with saturation and then it would be like three months into COVID and they'd just like take the saturation <laughs> off and it'd be like, That's, all great. That was, me. that was your life. That was literally me. I'm sorry, Kai. No, it's okay. But I'm offended now, that I wasn't like Why don't you just like put on like Ray-Bans with like a bit of a tint and that should fix that problem. That's not really like also, the root of the problem. Or you could get if like you, eye contact. If I'm in your like life. You're not understanding. If I'm in your life, how can you be sad? That's what I was going to say because it's almost mean to Drew. Like, does he not make your life good? I'm sorry. You're making this about you? Like, uh, I'm not, not, uh, this we're just saying it, it is, is rude. Me. It is really rude. Like, oh, you're depressed, but he's still, he's right here. Yep. I just don't understand how this is now. Like, I mean, if Drew can't fix attack. it, then you might be done. So I'm just <laughs> expressing that I'm sad, and then this is an attack to you. Can't. Yeah, and he keeps I going. Can't. This is crazy. <laughs> and I'm also like doing better. No, I, I am actually. Like well, you're doing better because Drew's here right now. <laughs> yeah. It's actually an illusion. Notice, notice. No, I am actually happy that. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's happy. awesome. That's a no, dude, it's, yeah. no, no. I'm happy for you. I I still am like. Oh yeah. I'm still in like in six months. I may just 
all of my memory will just go away. <laughs> <laughs> you get hard reset, which might that be a might fucking be fine. Like, I, love I know. You wake up sometimes hoping that would happen to me. I, I actually told them I want eternal sunshine myself to forget oh. both of you forever. Let's then go. let's go. What are you going to be homeless in like two days? Yeah. <laughs> no, bitch, I'm standing my ground. You get the fuck out of my house, actually. I will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pushed back like that. <laughs> oh, um, me being sarcastic. I actually am happy for you because that's awesome. Um, the birds are chirping, so I'm awesome. I don't know if you guys remember. I woke up. I woke up yesterday, day 14. Pre- oh, my God. Drew. <laughs> did you do that again? I just did it with my mind. No, I actually didn't do that on purpose. I woke up yesterday, and I heard the birds, and I immediately thought of that. And I was like, whoa, because I have the same shit where yeah. as soon as it turns into, like, um, like Eastern Europe uh, yeah. weather, in LA, I just like get so. Are y'all depressed. excited for June gloom? I no, won't be dude, here. Bitch. Why I'm do you leaving. have to? Yeah, I'm down. literally leaving. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we're like, oh my god, finally the we're sun is too shining. depressed. Like, people, no, yeah, I feel the exact same way. All we needed was some sunshine. Do you know up. that? Do you remember that scene in the Matrix where they crest out of the clouds? Yeah, and they see the sun, a glimpse of light. That, that is, I'm that's that me and Anya. Y'all. No, you are the. Oh, you are like you're the of, storm cloud in the yeah. in, on the horizon. Oh wow! You're like a hurricane that's gonna like swipe away my family and take them away from me. It's like yep. the movie Twister. Cross me and I will. Cross me and I will. <laughs> so annoying. But yeah, no, it's literally the birds. The birds will do something to you. Uh, 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 I'm gonna hit you, bitch. Are um, chirping. Fuck! I was gonna say something. Oh, I want us to read this thing and see if any of us. I saw this girl do, do this TikTok. Um, hold on, hold on. Is it reading the teleprompter? No. Oh. And if it was reading a teleprompter, we'd be here for 18 hours. I think we did that like in one of the early episodes. Yeah, we did. It's trying say try saying these without sounding sarcastic. Okay. Oh, that's great. Wait, I kind of ate. Yeah, you did kind of eat that. Honestly, good for you. I'm happy for you. That was Have good. fun. Oh, oh wait, no, wait. That was hella sarcastic. <laughs> well, I've, I, I got into a sarcastic character. Have fun. Okay, this one's hard. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no one's fascinating. That's pretty fascinating. earnest. Yeah, but, I mean, it's it, you just can't... not a word any of us would say. So me being like, oh, also, and like I'm if you were just telling words. me about shocking yourself, I'm like fascinating. Yeah, I'm you would also, be like, she's a bitch. <laughs> I'm adding words to it. Like you can't add. Yeah, words. you can't say anything else but that. And if you don't Thanks add for that, <laughs> you to me that. when I said, I hope you go blind. Well done, you. Well done, you. <laughs> like, who's saying, well done, you? Yeah. Me, when I'm talking about my steak and you equal steak. <laughs> Onika Burgers. <laughs> well uh-huh. equals Onika and done, you equals burger. <laughs> <laughs> Two, like, geriatric people finding out what Onika Burgers is for the first time. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> she equals Onika, A equals burger. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever I came up we're with talking that, about because we sound fucking crazy. Whoever, like, I want you on the pod because I love the way you see the world in your mind. Works. Like, I that was so I special. need to pick your brain. Yeah. Mrs. Onika Burgers. Well, Coco Montrese yep. from RuPaul's Drag Race is Onika Burgers. Coded. <laughs> <laughs> like, her dance in season two is Onika Burgers coded. Okay, I'm going to try it. And then yeah, Kai I goes. say you try. Okay. Oh, this is gonna like I can't I don't know if I can do this. Okay. Oh, that's great. That was good. But I, I added something. Okay, yeah. I bet I also That was pretty good. Yeah. That was good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> i I feel like I just sound like a bitch saying all this. Oh, good for you. I, I keep saying that's I keep if you add o. the O, if you add the O, it makes it so much good for easier. you. That sounded good. I feel like I say this all the time though. Have fun. Yeah. But like, see, I wouldn't say it in that like. Like, say it how you just like how you would say it if I was walking out the front door. But I would add something else to it. Like, I wouldn't just say "have fun." That was okay. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. That was okay. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> fascinating, like, fascinating is evil. That, that one's fucking diabolical, bitch. If I told someone something interesting and they said fascinating, I can fucking throw my. If I was like, them. "That's fascinating," like I do say that regularly, but just saying fascinating, like that's evil. I'm like, that's evil, but my word for fascinating is awesome. Like I say, awesome seriously. That's awesome. Like, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> what? That's awesome. It's awesome. 
It's awesome. <laughs> See, thanks for that. I would never say that seriously. Yeah. That's like when you made fun of my tumor. I would be like, thanks for that. I guess. Stage three brain rot. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Oh, good luck with that. See, I have to add O with everything. Good luck with sounds that. Sounds thrilling is fucked up. Wait, let me see if real quick. If you say sounds thrilling to someone, you're going to <clears throat> fucking jail. Now you're I'm going to be as shady as possible. That's great. Good for you. Have fun. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Why am I an actor, y'all? Oh I'm not going to lie. After leaving Dune, I was like, damn, like, I really think my next arc is the actor. The man who can't read out loud is like, I think my next arc is actor, and y'all clip this in three years once I'm acting. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> that's great. Yeah, that sounded great. Yeah, that was good. Good for you. Mm. That sounded, that one's a little. That was a little catty. Condescending. Oh, this one's hard. Have fun. No. Have fun. That was a little better. The second one. Um, fascinating. Okay, that was the best one. Thanks for that. Uh, well, <laughs> the way you look reading it is really freaky. Yeah. Thanks for that. Well done, you. Good luck with you that. You sound like male Siri. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, um, that's the thing is trying to read those just casually without actually receiving anything makes me feel crazy. Sounds thrilling. What a shame. Why? Wow. Oh, you have the same tone for everyone. <laughs> Wow. This one. No, I was going to make a really mean joke. But... Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the only way. Wow. Oh, like, say wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, do it in that voice. Oh, wow. It's so funny to get into that voice. I have to say, oh, wow, to like remind <laughs> myself. That's great. <laughs> good, f good for you. Wait. Oh, wow. That Good for you. Holy shit. I'm stroking out. <laughs> have fun mm, fascinating really that's really fascinating oh my thanks for that <laughs> what a shame <laughs> <laughs> wait, I need to put on wait, the dress wait, wait. can you say what a shame Onika Burger <laughs> what a shame wait. oh well what a shame oh what a shame Onika Burger <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me it a makes, shrimp fried this it right? Onika <laughs> Burger sound like a villain. <laughs> like, a... you gotta. Um, oh. oh my god. Okay. Before we get into psyop and media, um, <sighs> wow. I, there's a couple I other things that. <laughs> that I needed to talk about. <laughs> um, there's this evil, evil, vile, scary, wicked, gnarly rumor about me going around right now, and it's actually driving me fucking insane and i want to i want to have an open dialogue with everybody um why is there a rumor going around that i look like lord farquad <laughs> like literally people say oh drew's like cosplaying lord farquad like oh he's one step away from fully becoming lord farquad like cut that shit out what? do i look like lord when i part uh when i put my hair behind my ears i don't think i've ever seen lord farquad is that a real person you you do look like lord farquad and i look like uh shrek did you say i look like lard fart quad <laughs> no, i didn't you're say calling that. me Guy big does and look greedy like the human shrek people say that yeah he do. does which bodied me when i first well no saw he's that. like hot oh yeah the the human shrek is supposed to be like oh my god cunt they made human guess, Shrek so that the I girls guess. who like were attracted to Shrek could actually want to have <gasps> sex with Shrek. Are you looking at Lord Farquaad? It's because of my biggest insecurity. Your jaw? Yes. I look like him. Yeah. You don't, but we should straighten your hair. Oh, fuck. That fuck ass bob. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Lord Farquaad was the original fuck ass bob. <laughs> Oh my god. Bruh, you don't look like him. Oh, no, y'all's hesitation about... in the way the room felt. No, no, I you don't. You don't actually. Crazy. It's literally just your haircut. Like, nobody, no white it's guy haircut, with that haircut. It's your jaw. You know what it, it is? It's just something about everything. Shrek jokes actually irk me. And at like, this point, I'm like, give it up. Sh yeah, <laughs> Shrek give it up, jokes. Babe. Post 2014 Shrek <laughs> jokes irk the <laughs> fuck out of me. Like, that's the most <laughs> ran through movie, like, gaping hole ran through. Gaping like, hole? Hold like, on, wait. Need <laughs> stitches ran through. That shit is funny. It's like gaping hole about what? <laughs> 
<laughs> like the, something about that just irks me. Like I don't know. I can't do the Shrek shit. Like I can't. Something about like somebody who used to work at BuzzFeed in a Shrek meme. Yeah, like yeah. that's where it lands for me. Yeah. <laughs> Shrek. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay, well, I sorry, I went fell silent because I fully agree with that, but I have to, I'm copying the rest of my notes for this episode. Well, I'm going to do media. How about that? Should I do PSYOP first? Oh, yeah, yeah, Body is tea, bitch, your boba. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that, that one, good. right? Yeah. That one was so <laughs> That's good. That's really good, actually. Well, it was bitch, your burger, but I stepped up and said boba, <laughs> and I was like, keep that. Yesterday, yeah, Drew went into flow state. And switch it up for Boba. That's... And I was like crying. Safe sex stinks. Got that whole room smelling like spit and birthday party balloons. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's good. White people stay calling the police on everyone, but their son is building a bomb in their basement. <laughs> <laughs> but their son that's building a bomb in their basement. Um, oh. Girls ask. Okay. Girls ask for help opening a jar, but throw furniture during arguments. <laughs> right, right. Did you just hear my stomach? No. It growled. McDonald's pancakes don't even absorb that syrup. That's how you know they're made of soup. Fuck off. <laughs> I was like, God. McDonald's pancakes don't even absorb syrup. That's how you know they're made of shoe insoles. <laughs> that was from Jade. Inya and I are like Romeo and Juliet, except she doesn't like me and I'm going to just kill myself. <laughs> okay. Um, you post surgery. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Inya is so fine. I dead ass roll up my car windows when she farts. Ew. Did someone send that? Uh, someone sent it, but I just added your name. Oh, okay. But I don't remember who said it. Um, okay. That's the T. That's all. <laughs> and that's all, folks. Every now, every now, and I get a new one. Okay. My media of the week is DNM by Mick G. Um, mm, 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 <laughs> super cut by Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and just because I really love you by Jerry Butler, the draw in room do files. And that's fucking it. And fetch the bolt cutters, the album. Guys, I literally have to fetch the bolt cutters. I can't, you literally have to. Fuck. Okay, mine is the Poor Thing soundtrack, specifically We. I just hope she's all right. Bella. Um, and then I was listening to the dude who made that album's music, and he has an album called Winterisi. Um, his name is Jerskin Fendrix. Um, and he has a couple really like weird esoteric songs on his like that like don't make sense like at all at all. Um, and then. We'll do Parasite, Nick Drake, Once I Was, Tim Buckley, So Real, Jeff Buckley. Ooh, I ate. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, and then Hope Sandoval. Just her in general or Hope I, Sandoval I, and the Warm Inventions? Both. Oh. And Matt Caesar. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Did I watch any movies or shows? Oh, I bitch, I'm back on my Young Sheldon shit. Y'all got to tap in, I swear to God. <laughs> I bet every single person can see a little bit of themselves in little Young Sheldon. And I bet if you watch that... Dude, you, you are like so annoying for watching that show. I hate that. Oh, this I isn't so a joke. Hate it. And you know what? You know what reignited it for me? I saw once I... Or one, I saw a clip on TikTok and two... Um, when I went on that like Warner Brothers lot studio tour with my oh parents, yeah they filmed it there and it's all they talked about on the tour and I was like damn that's like a vibe like I love this show and now when I watch the show I'm looking for the sound stage that they recorded it in and you really can't tell and that's just movie magic baby TV show magic I if I watched Young Sheldon you're gonna watch no bitch I'm not watching that. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Bye. Oh, my God. It's like we landed the plane, guys. We made it. It's like uh, you clapping at the end of Dune 2. <laughs> <laughs>